Welcome back, guys. Good morning. Hey, we're heading out today to do some pig castration. We're going to our friend's house. Jenna Osler, Osler. Acres Farm. Acres Farm. Farm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave a link down below to her Facebook group. Uh, she's not on YouTube, but she's got a, a, a Facebook page and she sells meat. Lots of it. Lots of stuff. She, uh, If you're local, she does a farmer's market up in Priest Lake during the season and uh, you can catch her up there every weekend. She's got an, um, She grows an amazing garden. Her garden's beautiful. I love the way she's got it laid out. But anyway, we've got some footage here. We're going out to her farms here in a minute and we're going to have some fun. Well, we may not be having fun and I definitely know the pigs aren't going to be having fun. But stay tuned. There's the inspiration for how I want to do bar one of our barns. This is really neat the way they did this. The other one's out there. Get a better better view of this. Hey, those guys look familiar. Some of our pack. Oh yeah, the little angel wing. Yeah, there's our angel wing. We, we gave them to Jana here. Alright guys, so this is kind of how I'm going to do mine. I love the way this is done. I wanted to record this so I can remember how this is done. We got the stalls for their animals in here. There's some baby pigs. That's what we're here for today. This is cool. Totally stealing this idea. Piggies. <laughs> what kind of pigs do you have? Uh, Yorkshire, Hampshire, crosses. Um, this brown one is, she's got dirt off in her. Yeah, she's a big girl. Kind of mean. <laughs> kind of mean. <laughs> kind of mean. So what Those we're going to do is we're going to put her in here. You can see that somebody's gone over this one. Oh, yeah. And so she'll easily go over that one, too. Climb right, yep. right over it. Yep. Climb right over it. We're going to feed her over there. Put her out. Feed her over there. Put this pan over there. Walk her this way. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Time to wrangle babies. What you're about to see is graphic. You may want to tune away from this. If you got a squeamish stomach, can't handle it. If you're not interested in pig castration and how to do it. Tune out now. Because here it comes. You've been right, warned. Right now. So it's not going to hurt anything if it gets into the cavity. I've never lost a pig from castrating. I've never had an infection. Are you just so, using like dish soap? 
It's just a soap. Okay. Sorry, this gets cut if this is too much in your way. See this? You got two testicles here. There and there. You push them forward. If this had the intestines in it, this would all be mush. Okay. And this, it kind of looks like mush, but it's still distinctive. Because you drop that rear end and I can't get to it. You'll be better by the next litter, Jordan. Yep, two good nuts. Testicles. <laughs> I usually try and do it on just a couple slices. Got through the testicle, so it's actually coming apart a little bit, which is <laughs> not a bad thing. That was fast. Got through the testicle. <laughs> Get it all. <laughs> quick. Best laid plans, pigs destroyed. <laughs> Okay, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Those of you that made it through and watched to the end and made it through it, bonus to you. Jenna's a pro. Yeah, so. she's done it quite a few times. She was talking about a mass thing that grows around the, the testicles, it's the intestines. And if you're, if you're not careful, you could be pulling their guts out. So there's a there's a way to watch for that and it's like really bulgy. I think she explained it in the video. Mushy. Mushy, that's it, mushy. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through. And if you'd like, leave us a comment. What do you think? Would you do this differently? I mean, I've seen a few different versions of how to do this, and this is pretty much the best way, I think. I'm, I'm totally doing it this way. She's actually gonna come out to our farm and help us when it comes time, if we get any mails through our, our female. <laughs> if any of our sows drop mails that we don't sell as boars. boars. That's how we, like last year. Last year we got lucky I sold them all as boars, so. No cutting needed, that's nice. We may not get that lucky this time. So we want to be prepared. We want to learn some homestead skills here that, I mean, I don't want to take it to a vet to have them fixed. That'd be no. ridiculous. One more step to being self-sufficient. Yep. Do it all in-house, on farm. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Get out there. Start living your